Hi, I'm Tracy with Tracy Door Builders, and welcome to Behind the Build. Today, I'm meeting with the Donhoffs at Barber Cabinets. We're gonna be designing their kitchen and all the rest of their gorgeous cabinetry. We're also gonna be pulling the trigger on a pool for a home that I finished three years ago, and I'm headed back to E-Town. Okay, so as you know, we're halfway done with framing. Yep. So we really need to get going on the cabinetry because right after framing here in two weeks, I do have plumbers and HVAC guys starting. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, hot on their tail, I've got the electricians going. Okay. They all want to know specifications of appliances, where we have water, if we're going to put the sink here, if we're going to put the sink down yeah. there. So with Kirby, we've got to make a lot of decisions on cabinets. Yeah. So right. we don't have to finalize everything today. We finalize everything once we do a walkthrough okay. and once we can get with her out there and walk through and then look at the drawings out there and make any changes. We at least want to finalize so, where location position of, of things, right, for appliances. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm yes. more concerned about layout and where everything's going to be because, again, I'm going to yep. go out, I'm going to mark the floors, I'm going to let the electrician and the plumber and all of them know exactly where everything is okay. so that they, they're aware of that. So the original kitchen layout, we have the um, cooktop here on the back wall along with the hood. Yeah, let's go right like that. Still doing a farm sink? Yes. Okay. Yes. What uh, do you want? You want? I just been thinking about having split or two, but I, 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 the way it is. You could still get a farm sink with a split, split. and a biter in it okay. if that's a concern for you. Okay. What size do you have drawn in here? It's a 36. That's a 13 foot island. So <laughs> is there a bigger farm sink than a 36? Yeah, you could go we to could 48, but I don't do know if you want to do, I that's, don't know. I don't think we need that big. Three, 36, three feet. that's three feet, that's huge. It's it's big. I, don't think I it's just, yeah. I'm good with as it. I'm doing dishes, I like the, the separation, um, but we can so if we say farm sink 36, we can decide divider at a later point, Absolutely. right? So okay. I think yeah. farm they sink even make some 36 now is with good. Like cutting boards that move up and yeah. down yeah. that so you can use. So are you good with 36? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We also didn't have any glass doors figured. Do you still do you want glass doors? Do you want glass doors here as kind of a you know a display kind area? Kind of like this unit yeah. over here to the right. So. I think when we were here once before, we talked about the potential of having like glass that. up high around over the, where the range would be. Mm -hmm. Does that does mm -hmm. that sound right? Mm -hmm. I guess you know one question. We are going to the ceiling. Is that what you're recommending? Ceiling. We at one point had talked about that. Okay, we don't I just don't remember. To. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I just I have no while. memory. Okay. So are you good with that? If we go straight to the ceiling, right? Yeah, it's it's really high. It is. You're never going to reach it no. unless you have a ladder. So again, that might be your great spot to put your glass doors. So, so when I look down just there, put decorative stuff. That's kind of cool. The opening. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You could do that here. Because do you see? I mean, I not that I have you. anything cool, but mm -hmm. what, what about right cool here? This section. Do it above. Above over there, there. to really and to then, feature that area. And then would you just maybe do glass on these top ones because we you don't know, put anything in there. Mm -hmm. You're gonna Not, put water pictures yeah. or other glasses. And a glass glass. that's something that yeah I can't really see through glass. Right, you can <laughs> right. do something with a little mm -hmm. texture to it yeah. where it's not so clear. All right, so can we to be determined on that one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll put a question about it. The hood. Yes. Hood style. So we have lots of different hood styles. Okay. Did we talk about hood styles before? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. We can do more of one, like a, um, a mantle. You can do more of a mantle. Type of a hood. I was thinking more like this, mm -hmm. but maybe maybe not the angle. I don't know, maybe that's straight going up and that's, we offset the color. And I think that's what Tracy yeah. was saying with more of a mantle style hood. So you'll yeah. have more of this section at the bottom, yeah. but it's yeah. boxier. The, ca the piece actually touches the cabinets yeah. on both sides and it's just more straight lines. I, and you can put three panels up there. You can do two bigger panels. It might just add a little bit more interest rather okay. than just the one big one. So here is the cabinet door, not inset. And then you've got the cabinet door, of course, a different finish, and the hickory inset. inset. So when it's not inset, it can have this edge. It can also have a square edge, can't it? I can give it a square okay, edge. Okay, but uh -huh. here it's a little bit of softer edge. Yeah. So. Cabinet color, main cabinet color. Are we thinking about going with the I want it light. white dove? I don't know if it's what white it is. 
Is what's this white dove? This is white dove. So this is a little creamier softer. of a white. It's a little mm -hmm. softer. This is okay. the next step. This is what I have in my house. This is what this is the color I would go with. Okay. Just and that is like bright white down there too, isn't it? That's a gray. Uh, that's a gray. that's a gray. That's out the really? owl. Gray owl. Gray owl. Okay. So this color, what we would do, this would be your trim color throughout the whole house. Okay. We would carry this throughout the whole house rather than stark white trim and be a okay. softer white. Like I this. feel better with that because I thought it was going to be white trim. Well, I okay. think we're good to go. I, I uh, think we've got a plan. Kirby, can you go ahead and redraw these okay. and we'll meet in two weeks? Yes. Okay. That sounds great. I appreciate it. Hey, Tracy. Hey, how are you? This site's really looking great. <laughs> I know this house is really laying in here well. So what do you have going on here? Well, I was just double checking because um, I'm getting ready to order the windows. So this, I didn't think originally that we would have this be able to do egress. Yes. But we're going to be able to do real windows here rather than window wells. That's great. So with the bedroom down here in the lower level and the living room here, I'm going to do two casement windows that are 30 by 48s. That's going to be great on this side. And then one here in the bedroom, so we'll have three. But the one thing that I do need to ask of you is if you know of any more fill. Oh, I've I have got plenty some, of fill. Okay, yeah. I'm going to need more in here. Okay. I need about two more feet in the front. I do have a little bit coming off of another lot, but I could use some in here also. I actually had someone call me about it today. I, you need to get with me and we'll look at it okay. and I'll put aside what you need. Okay, okay. that's fantastic. That right. helps us out a lot. Okay. So, no, it's perfect. I, I can't wait to start showing this to potential oh, homeowners. I know, it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Hey, Tracy, can you show me what's happening in the backyard yeah. in, in relation to these trees back here? Yep. So, no, this ended up really nice. I think what you suggested in which trees to take out was perfect. Good, So we'll good. have to take down some of these stumps still. Sure. But we've got the nice covered porch here, the driveway rolls in nicely on that side and then all the drainage is going to go you know out into the ditch so that's why i need more fill here also okay that's great but that's great and these trees you you have some nice hardwood trees back here mm -hmm. uh, the cedars are gone so i think it's going to yeah. be a beautiful backyard oh yeah and i mean it just it looks like it goes on forever oh it does yeah <laughs> No, it's it's perfect. nice that it backs up to that five acre track, like yeah. some of these other vacant lots through here. Yep. No, and I think whoever builds on these lots are going to be lucky people too. That's right. Yeah. Since 1948, Barber Cabinet Company has been creating beautiful cabinetry for families all over the Kentuckiana area. Whether you're wanting a gorgeous new kitchen, a lower level bar, or a dreamy master bath, Barber Cabinet Company can blend your ideas with our experience to create the perfect look for your home. From the first consultation to installation, our designers and craftsmen create a customized look based on your design style and needs. Call Barber Cabinet Company today and start designing your dream home. You may not always be able to see exactly what everyone is thinking, but at River City Bank, we know that everyone has their own dreams. We want to make your dreams a reality. Whether it's the right account or the right loan, we are here to help you every step of the way. Now with the branch open in Middletown. Have you been dreaming of your own private pool? Davenport Extreme Pools has been creating gorgeous pools and patio retreats all over the Kentuckiana area. From start to finish, our outdoor living specialists will hold your hand through the design process, creating the perfect pool for you. Our state-of-the-art 3D imaging allows your outdoor living area to come to life before your very eyes. Stop dreaming of your pool and start enjoying it. Call Davenport Extreme Pools today or visit us online at DavenportExtremePools.com. Nestled just inside the Shelby County line is a community like no other, Persimmon Ridge, Rolling hills, wildlife, and gorgeous lakes create a rural living experience with all the amenities of any city subdivision. Located on one of the premier golf courses in the region, Persimmon Ridge homeowners live on spacious lots overlooking the golf course, woods, lakes, or natural surroundings. With home sites ranging from one third acre to over 22 acres, Persimmon Ridge offers the perfect setting for your dream home. Call developer Lauren Just today or visit persimmonridgedevelopment.com.
So yeah, man, a lot has changed since last time I was out, out here. It looks like you've got the house frame, the windows and doors are in. Windows and doors are in. We just got the false floors poured and ready for our brick pavers. The brick will be going up next week. So, by the way, Tracy's almost here. If you want to hang around, I'm getting ready to give her a tour. Yeah, perfect. As soon as I get back, I'll get that draw process. All right, you. sounds great. Appreciate it. So, yeah, man, let me take a few pictures to document the loan file. If you perfect. Yeah, the garage floor is poured. Just watch your step. Here's Tracy Hi now. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Welcome back. Good to see oh, you again. Good to see you. Thank Tracy. you for inviting me to your personal home. Absolutely. Thank you for coming back. And I want to show you some of the energy efficient stuff I was telling you about. That would be fantastic. All right, let's do it. Wow, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Thanks. No, and it's like I was telling you before, my buyers anymore are asking more questions about um, how the house is going to perform right. after they've moved in and they're more concerned about the guts. So I want to talk to you about some energy efficiency and I've got someone I want to introduce you to. That's something I need to learn more about, so that's absolutely perfect. Great. So Tracy, the whole house is going to be foam okay. and that'll help control humidity. So we put fresh air exchanges in. Probably the most popular feature mm -hmm. is the geothermal systems that we're putting in to push our HVAC. So I want to introduce you to Eric Jackson. He's my production manager and he's pretty much running the show. Hi, Eric. Eric. Hello, Tracy. Nice to meet you. Generally speaking, HVAC uses the Earth's temperature, which doesn't change, say five feet in the ground. That temperature in Kentucky, for instance, is 56 to 60 degrees. So in the winter, that's gonna be warmer than the air that's outside. In the summer, it's cooler. Okay. Using the Earth's temperature to change the temperature of that water, bringing it up or down, um, and then is run back through the system. The air runs over those coils and in, over that water, and therefore uses that to condition the air you will find cost savings that can be up to 50% in the cost of heating and cooling a home. Wow. Um, so it's a major, there are some costs up front, 11 to 15 years right now, okay. are the turnaround time for paying that off or a, or a break even point. Does it take longer to put in the system? Does that delay construction or do, really is that not make a difference? No, actually we're finding that there are no differences in, ter in terms of construction time period and where the real benefit is the upfront tax savings, the rebates that oh. you're getting. So if you're a buyer, when you take into consideration those rebates, the difference between a high performing electric or gas system versus that geothermal, it may actually pay for itself quicker than even what Eric had mentioned before. And I didn't know those rebates were still available. Yep, they just lowered them, but they're still 26% now. Wow, yep. no, that makes a huge difference. Absolutely. Hello. How hey, are Tracy. you? Good I to see you. I appreciate it. Good to see you again. Kind of short notice, huh? That's all right. Oh, and we have acorns falling on our heads. I love it. So, what, so what, what we got going on here? Okay, so we have about an acre and a half lot all that goes all the way down to the pond. We don't want to clear out what's going down to the pond, but I need to clear out this building pad. Okay. So I've gone through with the homeowner and marked all the trees in orange. So you can see a property line over there in pink and the other property line over here in orange. And pretty much I need everything taken out. I've kind of saved some in the back corner over there. Can we, let's walk back here. Okay. Uh, let's, so this is the back of the house. So what's gonna, uh, do they want to be able to see the lake? Well, so they're gonna have a pool. I think everybody would want the view of the lake, but I'm worried about thinning it out too much. Okay. You know, maybe we could take down a couple of smaller ones in there to thin through, but I'd like to start with what's up here. Okay. And then if you said, okay, you know, if we took out a couple there, it might be run about this much more. Right. Well, um, our forestry mower, you know, will mow up to like six to eight inch trees. We can kind of thin right. it out if they decide to do that. Right. Can, okay. It's a shame. We've got a couple of really nice trees right here in the middle, of course. Right. That's where they usually are. But we want to leave a couple by the perimeter. We do have a supposed sinkhole right here that's kind of in the middle of that grove of trees. Okay. I'm going to leave those trees around it. I'm going to leave you some blue ribbon, okay. which we don't cut anything that's blue okay. ribbon, so uh, you can mark the trees you want to keep and okay. we'll go from there. Okay. So can you just text me or email yep. me a price? Uh, yep, sure and, uh, and how far are you? Uh, were you ready to get started on it? I just have to get okay or about thumbs up first or thumbs next down week? from the homeowner. First of next week, good? Just email week me the price and okay. we'll, I'll get an okay from them and we'll okay. go from there. Perfect. So, Sounds great. It's, it's nice because you're working close, yeah, right? right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, I, honestly, I really appreciate you meeting me such a okay. So. Um, this is good. Thank good, you. Good, good. With today's Behind the Build Pro Tip, I have Will of Will Harris Homes. Thanks, Tracy. So I'm here to talk about brick and mortar and or paver. What we have here are called false floors. You might look at them and think that they're finished floors. They have a nice broom finish, properly scored or hand jointed. 
but they're actually gonna get covered up with, in this case, brick and mortar. But it's still very important that everything's properly flashed and that everything's properly jointed so that if that moves, that structure below it, it won't cause the bricks and the pavers to crack as well. Need new flooring for your home? Fabulous Floors has you covered. Whether you're looking for carpet, hardwood, or waterproof flooring, Fabulous Floors has hundreds of colors and designs to choose from. Don't feel like getting out? Their virtual showroom, FabulousFloorsKentucky.com, allows you to see what the flooring will look like in your home and view their product catalog. With national brands like Mohawk, your flooring will look fabulous. Stop by a store today or visit us online at FabulousFloorsKentucky.com. You may not always be able to see exactly what everyone is thinking, but at River City Bank, we know that everyone has their own dreams. We want to make your dreams a reality. Whether it's the right account or the right loan, we are here to help you every step of the way. Now with the branch open in Middletown. Is your power out again? It's time to give Corgan Electric a call. Our Briggs & Stratton backup generator system will have your power back on in no time. You know us at Corrigan, give us a call. The look of the indoors has found its way out. Trex decking and railing. It's where enduring beauty and longer lasting performance bring your idea of outdoor living to life. Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Visit Trex.com to find Trex products near you or to find a builder. I can't believe you are finally getting a pool, Whitney. I know. I'm so <laughs> excited. Okay. So talk to me. What have you all talked about, Tracy? Like in as far as the pool that you're putting in and, and grade, I know we had to just kind of slope everything down. We've got the walkout. Yep. On the far side of the house, we had to fill all this up, right. and knowing that you're going to be digging some of it out, mm -hmm. and um, you're going to have to add more rock and dirt around the pool yeah. to bring it up to we'll level. Mm -hmm. um, how, how are you going to lay the pool in here? Well, she's finally picked out one. Here we okay. go. The Aspen. She went big dog, 16 by 40. Love that. Yes, yes. The tan <laughs> ledge here and their chairs yep. and bubblers and all that good stuff. Yep. Now, Wendy's going all out, so we're going to actually lay it right out here in the middle, kind of like this way with a shallow end to the steps of the okay. house, just how you had the steps coming out to the pool. Okay. And then she's also went with a hot tub. A nine by nine hot tub. So yep. the hot tub's gonna sit on this side. She's gonna get the kids a slide that'll go in here. And so, then- And it won't block the view. No view. To the, yep. the trees Nothing and everything. Nothing to block, just okay. small, okay. clean landscaping to just help with that grade going back down. Okay. You had called me or texted me a while back uh -huh. about not having the pool and the hot tub the same color. Right, it was actually a question that came up this morning. I don't want to be matchy-matchy. Yeah, so I love that. we talked about doing the Maya blue and then the hot tub is California, so it's just a lighter, more turquoisey color. Then we're just going to do some tile around the top that are going to tie the two blues in. I love that. Mm -hmm. I, lo yeah. I, I think that'll totally customize first, it and just make it. Mm. Yeah, first customer ever that went out outside the box and didn't do uh -huh. matchy. I love it. I'm like, uh -huh. ah, uh -huh. so excited. The pool's already here. Yay! <laughs> and so is the hot tub arrived this morning. Yep. So we are we actually already got it plumbed on the outside. Rain's coming tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So we're digging Wednesday, backfill Wednesday, setting Wednesday. The pool will be set Wednesday, hot tub probably Thursday. Well no, I think that'll be awesome. I think with the screen and porch facing this way, mm -hmm. you can come out of the kitchen. Kids can go in and out of the bathroom by this door. And that was your design. You actually put our bathroom right there so they could come in and yeah. kids aren't tracking through my house to go to the restroom. Yep, mm -hmm. keeps the mess out our of the cubby room. Uh -huh. So, no, I, I can't wait to enjoy it. it, it it's been a while coming. So. Yes, I'm so excited. That's what I love about Tracy, though. All her homes that I work with her with, uh -huh. um, she has them all set up. If they know what they're going to want to pull later on, she goes through all that with them. She moves the gas line to be ready for me. Everything's ready for me. When I come here, it's yep. all ready for a pull. If yep. she knows ahead of time. We yeah, did all so that planning important. three years ago now. It's been a while. Right, since you built our house originally, we did all of this. 
And my sister even said, I wish that their builder would have done the same thing because their bathroom is nowhere near where the entrance yeah. is from the pool and yep. what kids go through. Yep. So she was actually complimenting your... Well, awesome. Now, what material are you putting around here? Are you putting concrete? What Con are you doing? We're doing broom finished concrete. Okay. And are you lipping it over the pool? We or are. are you... Okay. So you got a three inch lip here. Right. What we do is we cope two yards underneath to keep the motion okay. of the pool secure because it is clay back here and this is fiberglass. It expands, yeah. contracts, expands, yes. contracts. So we're going to go ahead and put the coping in. You'll see our concrete guys even get in the pool and sand yep. it all yep. the way around. I just started mm -hmm. doing that the last few weeks I like and that. I think it's much better and it catches it before it'll go nice. too far. Nice. Yeah. Well, you guys will be enjoying it soon. I can't wait. Hey, Tracy. Hey. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> well, I appreciate you letting me stop in once again yeah. to go over these plans. Absolutely. So um, this is that Southern Charm House that we came in and picked everything out, but I think there were some discrepancies on exactly what we wanted to use. Okay. So before I give you the green light, I just want to double check it. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. You know how that goes. I do. Okay. Let me get to the, well, I got it. Let me get to the floor plan. I think it's the first one. We've got this really open kitchen. Yeah. And we decided to go ahead and go with the Pergamino granite. Yes. Okay, so I think we're set on that. We but all. you have it for me to view. Right, we have them opened up for us to take a look at. Okay, yeah. so we can look at that, just double check, make yeah. sure there's not anything that they don't want, like right in the middle of the island or, right. or that kind of Absolutely. thing. That works out good. So we, I think we had some discrepancies in the upstairs Jack and Jill bathroom and this guest bath. Right, right, because there's some. Um, the Jack and Jill had two, and I think what we were looking at, the remnant was not large enough. So okay. we can either use that remnant for the bath too and use that Carrera quartz that we had looked okay. at for the Jack and Jill. We definitely have enough of that. We picked out this plain gray, kind of a hexagon slash mm -hmm. tile, I or, that, um, yeah. but I can't get it out of Canada with the whole virus thing and everything. We're just having to reselect something. Okay. Not a big deal, it's already yeah. come back in. So, but what we were selected to with the navy blue vanities and the very neutral walls is going with this other same shape, but it has some veining. So I do have some of that Carrera quartz that I stocked. It's okay. a much subtle, the veining is much more subtle. And we'll take a look at that. I also have a nice size remnant of some really pretty stuff I wanna show you. Okay, let's go look at these. Are they out in the remnant yard or are they in here? Yeah, they're out. Okay. They're all back. Let's I do have there. a sample. That's the one that I have a nice size remnant of. Okay. Yes, that will okay. work for the Jack and Jill or the shared bath. Okay, and then um, we have the another one that we looked at before that has a little bit of a smaller graining or a little, little bit, bit more gray. Maybe even a whiter background, so it's good to okay. compare them like that. Okay. Yeah. Do you have another sample of this for of the other one that I could always take to the client just in case? I will get you one. For Perfect. Sure. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's head out there. Awesome. So the pergaminos are wide open right oh, here okay. for the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. And it, they're very nice, uniform. They're, like they, I don't think there's anything that we need to, you know, be afraid of. No, I, I think you're right. A lot of times there's kind of a lot more chunky or some areas yeah. like that. But no, I think this is gorgeous. I think it's consistent. They are beautiful. It gives it a, you know, gives them a light in color, but so much texture. So the quartz that I was talking about. Okay. Hey, Aaron. Is, hey, <laughs> can you pull that back for us, Dave? I could have them pick either between this or this, and it's going to be the same price. Absolutely. Okay. So this one's just a little wider. That's a little warmer. So yeah. just a little bit of variation. Yep. Okay. I think two of those are great. I, I, I think they're either both great one. options. Yeah. yeah. I think it just depends. And unfortunately, I don't have the tile, but I think it just depends on the tile. Okay. So if I could take this sample with me and this and then bring them back tomorrow, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Or okay. You can just let me know. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So I just stopped in to check on the staycation home for the Donhoffs, and it's looking really good. Just in a week, we can have time. We already have this much progress. It's pretty amazing. Last week, we didn't even have this roof on. We added this little grilling porch, and it's gonna be a nice little addition, and it falls into the roof line just wonderfully. So that was a really good idea that the homeowner had. Glad he had it now, rather than a month or two down the road. 
If we go over to the great room, the vaulted ceiling on the great room coming through to the outdoor porch that's going to have a fireplace built in is going to be amazing. Remember, we dropped the foundation so that the homeowner could walk out of the porch, look over their furniture, and see this amazing view of the trees, which also helps it in all the grading. The dirt we don't have to take up as high, and it just helps overall in placement to take us to the walkout level of the house. So I'm super excited on how quick this is going. In two weeks, we're gonna be starting HVAC and plumbing. Since 1948, Barber Cabinet Company has been creating beautiful cabinetry for families all over the Kentuckiana area. Whether you're wanting a gorgeous new kitchen, a lower level bar, or a dreamy master bath, Barber Cabinet Company can blend your ideas with our experience to create the perfect look for your home. From the first consultation to installation, our designers and craftsmen create a customized look based on your design style and needs. Call Barber Cabinet Company today and start designing your dream home. Have you been dreaming of your own private pool? Davenport Extreme Pools has been creating gorgeous pools and patio retreats all over the Kentuckiana area. From start to finish, our outdoor living specialists will hold your hand through the design process, creating the perfect pool for you. Our state-of-the-art 3D imaging allows your outdoor living area to come to life before your very eyes. Stop dreaming of your pool and start enjoying it. Call Davenport Extreme Pools today or visit us online at DavenportExtremePools.com. Is your power out again? It's time to give Corgan Electric a call. Our Briggs & Stratton backup generator system will have your power back on in no time. You know us at Corrigan, give us a call. Nestled just inside the Shelby County line is a community like no other. Persimmon Ridge, rolling hills, wildlife, and gorgeous lakes create a rural living experience with all the amenities of any city subdivision. Located on one of the premier golf courses in the region, Persimmon Ridge homeowners live on spacious lots overlooking the golf course, woods, lakes, or natural surroundings. With home sites ranging from one third acre to over 22 acres, Persimmon Ridge offers the perfect setting for your dream home. Call developer Lauren Just today or visit PersimmonRidgeDevelopment.com. So tune in next week when we check in with the Southern Charm Home and many more construction projects.